Hello, Drew Gaming Girlie here, and today, yeah, I'm going to talk about my lovely time out and about. Um, first off, we went to Brighton. Uh, absolutely lovely day, nice and warm actually. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we decided to go to the Brighton Open Market. Um, wanted to go there mostly for the cheese and bacon and yeah it's a lovely little place uh, that sells a lot of cheese and different different cheeses and bacons and yeah we got chili cheese um just cheddar cheese there was oh yeah the chocolate chocolate and chili cheese which was quite unusual and and it was very very nice we also got picked up some bacon um and we love that place because it's super cheap and uh yeah and we picked up some a lot of chili cheese for a friend as well <laughs> and anyway um i thought oh i'll go up to where magic whistle gaming is and yeah uh, it's empty the shop's empty and they actually um used to also own the second shop next to it and that was oc occupied by some new people so yeah sadly magic whistle gaming is gone um hopefully they're all okay um and hopefully um they'll come back eventually i don't know but uh that was sad to see <laughs> it just this empty shop i absolutely loved magic whistle game and it was such a cool shop and we don't have many of these small um retro gaming businesses so it's kind of sad to see that one gone um anyway we walked out um of there um and then i noticed oh a new game shop um nothing too exciting <laughs> um it was a new cex um down that road where the uh market is and <laughs> so i went over there yeah they only been opened like um I asked them, and yeah, they've been open uh, for a month, so they haven't been open for very long. Um, hopefully I'll show you some footage. I didn't film too much um, uh, whilst in Brighton. I thought I'd just do a little bit of a chatty thing instead, really. Um, anyway, <laughs> we went. I went in there. I looked at the retro, even though I'm dumb, but I know I'm not going to find anything anyway, so... <laughs> I'm not worried. <laughs> I mean, if I do, I do. But initially, I'm I'm definitely dumb, um, and I I just know I'm not going to find anything. A hundred percent. Anyway, looked at all that. They had absolutely lovely retro in there. Really, really some decent stuff. Um, Super Nintendo. Um, you know, a load of decent games in there. Had some decent PlayStation One. Uh, Game Boy games, you know, all sorts. Um, and yeah, I was like looking around, and they uh, they had all these different cables. Um, they do this now, <laughs> um, little cables, um, uh, USB, you know, yeah, CX basics. So I decided to pick this up. It's just a HDMI cable. Um, I needed another one, uh, actually, for my. Uh, forget what you call it now, convertery um, thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I was looking around a bit more and we, we had a look at the Switch stuff, the Nintendo Switch stuff. Um, and there was this, there was quite a few games there that were cool. Um, I picked up this game, Formula Retro Racing. Um, kind of remind me of virtual racing on mega drive um and it looked really cool but it was at 32 pounds and i was just like mmm, that's too much for a pre-owned game i'm gonna look this one up and i'm glad i did because i found it cheaper <laughs> so yeah i will be getting that one eventually <laughs> so what else did i pick up in there i got a ps4 game and i got Tony Hawk's Pro Skating 1 and 2. Yeah. I can't believe I don't have this. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, And I've been playing a lot of the retro uh, Tony Hawk's games. Um, Yeah, and I just want to check this out. I absolutely loved the Tony Hawk's games back in the day. I 
Uh, my favourites were one, two, three, and four. They were the ones I played, and then I just stopped playing them after that. But yeah, oh, can't wait to play this. Um, and oh yeah, uh, they ha in in that CX they behind the counter they actually had a Atari Jaguar all mint and box. There were games uh, today. I even though it was meant to be hunting for Switch, so far I haven't done well. Um, I didn't pick up any Switch games in Brighton, sadly, and I just kept seeing Atari Jaguar everywhere I went. <laughs> I went into Cash Converters next, and really good stuff in there. There was a nice Mint Super Nintendo, some nice PlayStation 1 games, there was Casper on PS1 and some other decent games. Um, <laughs> I think there was some Amiga games in there, yeah. I didn't film any of this, sadly. Um, and, yeah, again, I saw some more Atari Jaguar. Like, what the hell? <laughs> um, anyway, we went to the big shopping mall in Bryan. Um, and I, was, I went up to where HMV... Well, where I last saw it. Um, and I was just like, oh no, what... Where's HMV? Sadly, we were like, oh no, it's gone. Um, and there was Victoria's Secrets there. I don't know what a uh, secret is, but uh, okay. <laughs> I said that to my partner. He was just like, okay. <laughs> anyway, we thought, oh, we quickly have a hunt around. Um, maybe it's moved. Um, so we went down the escalator and <laughs> it was by the escalators. Um, and it was in a smaller shop, sadly. Um, it, it was okay. There wasn't as much physical media in there anymore, sadly. Um, I actually think the HMV in Worthing is far better. I feel like it's got a lot more physical media in there. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I swear they have a lot more records than the one in Worthing. Um, and CDs and... Yeah, just music in general. They didn't really have a large selection in there. Um, oh, I forgot. I, yeah, I went down the lanes and I went to this place. Um, and they do, like, jewellery making things. So <laughs> It's not video games, but, you know, I basically bought a load of different coloured beads. Um... I can't wait to make some more jewellery. I won't bore you. I've got some charms and um, cords and yeah. So yeah, that was our day out in Brighton and I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, I had a lovely day walking around. I always love going to Brighton. Um, definitely go there again because I found something new there that I need to tell my brother it's awesome and we need to go and visit this place. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, Worthing. I went to Worthing and I went to HMV um, and I picked up this. I'm a huge Iron Maiden fan and I've been meaning to pick up this album um, and I've been listening to it. Absolutely enjoy this album. It's awesome. Look at the awesome artwork on that. So cool. Ah, it's brilliant. And it all opens. It's just got such amazing artwork. I mean, look at this. I don't know. <laughs> I got the wrong CD. <laughs> it's in my CD player. That's. <laughs> I don't normally do that. Um, anyway, I went to CEX and Worthing. Did we have luck in there <laughs> with Switch? Yay, we did. Um, there was quite a few titles that I wasn't quite sure about so I put them back. That they did look interesting but we managed to pick up two Switch games. Um I wasn't really after like a whole massive pile. I just wanted to go out and have a look and a hunt for any interesting Switch games that were fairly cheap. So first off we got this game Lumo, is it? Lumo. Um and it just looks interesting. It says, uh, getting lost isn't scary, it's an adventure. The critically, critically acclaimed atmospheric adventure. Hundreds of rooms plus hidden mini-games. 
packed with collectibles and secrets to discover. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. I think I'd love this, <laughs> especially since it's um, saying it, it's like quite, I don't know, like secret, like collectible. I don't know, it just looks like it's going to be a puzzly. I don't know. I don't know if this is any good, but it was pretty cheap, so that's brilliant. Um, and I really want to play this game, but I wanted it on the Switch, um, and I'm so glad I saw this when I did. Yeah! Bendy and the Ink Machine. Ah, it's brilliant. I'm glad I got this. I really do. So, yeah, two brilliant games I found. Yeah, we didn't find tons of Switch games, but these are two amazing games that I've, well, I've been wanting that. Never heard of this, but it looks absolutely interesting, so I can't wait to play these two games. I absolutely love the Nintendo Switch. I feel like there's a, a load of unusual games. Um, I'm definitely going to pick that Formula Retro Racing up because it did remind me of Virtual Racing on Mega Drive, so that I'm buying. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, I had a wonderful time off work. Ah, oh, absolutely enjoyed it. We didn't, I mean, that week we didn't have great weather. We had a couple of days which were nice and warm. Um, so we did manage to get out on the motorbike and have a lovely ride. Um, we went other places, countryside for walks and yeah, um, it was flooded in some parts of Sussex actually. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we enjoyed it. At least we got out on the motorbike. Um, definitely want to go Brighton again. Uh, maybe I might film it a little bit more the next time. Especially since I found a really cool new place, which I'm going to talk to my brother about. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's everything. I don't think I've forgotten anything at all. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, see, you know, I said, um, you know, Jag there was a lot of Jaguar in Brighton. <laughs> there was also an Atari Jaguar in the CEX of Worthing as well. So Atari Jaguar everywhere. <sighs> I wanted to find Switch games, <laughs> but I found so much Atari Jaguar, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, thank you. Bye. So there you go, we finally got the Formula Retro Racing World Tour. Um, and I picked it up a lot cheaper than what I found here in CEX pre-owned so and it's brand new so can't wait to play this game